I remember this as if it was yesterday. I woke up in a bad, grumpy mood, uh, August of um, 1989, and I decided to do an, a, a spiritual experiment on myself. I decided to start rejoicing like it was a special day. But I didn't feel like it was a special day. No real thing had happened in any uh, matter, small or large, to make me grumpy, but I was. And I decided that I would to think of this day as a vacation day, as a celebration day, as a, a Christmas day, an Easter day. And I started to talk to myself and started to tell myself that I had reason for rejoicing. That became one of the best days that I've ever lived. I suppose because it was the first time I had ever done that, uh, I was within three hours at the outset having one of the best days I had ever had. I couldn't stop smiling. I just, everywhere I went, because I had that mood inside of me and overflowing from me, I had people uh, attracted to that. And wow, what, what an incredible day. And it, it spilled over onto the days ahead. You can create that in yourself too. In Psalms, 118 verse 24 it says this is the day which the Lord has made and then it gives the key to what you're to do with that gift of that day let us rejoice and be glad in it in the day in the 24-hour period rejoicing and feeling in the present moment an expectation of God good coming our way. Well, my friend, do you feel uneasy at times because you don't know what the future holds? When you believe that something will happen in the future to make you feel, feel inside of yourself a greater happiness, a greater uh, prosperity, coming into your life, a feeling of being fulfilled and satisfied, you begin to live for the future, and you begin that as a seed right now, today. This is a beneficial feeling. No matter what is happening in the moment, it is like feeding your soul the way you feed your body with a good meal filled with nutrition. You do not let today's moment slip by unfulfilled. You tell yourself that the past is over and the future has yet to be, but now, in the present moment, it is yours to live, not just exist in, but to live fully, to be alive, to feel the electricity of this incredible time and to connect with the presence of God in this time. There is always a new now unfolding and you will discover that you have to work with God to create this fully and to rejoice and be glad in the gift that you are given right now. By being and doing what is important in the now and carrying the best possible attitude into this present moment that you possibly can to be prepared for the good of God that is now coming your way. So let us resolve to live fully in the now, to rejoice and be glad in it. And if you're grumpy like I was that time in the past, just in a bad mood, well, begin to change it right now. Begin to tell yourself how good life is and begin to what I call generate yourself up from that down place giving thanks to God for all your blessings. 
and you'll find within a very short period of time, you begin to have one of the best days you've had in a long time. And I pray that for you this day.